Well, good morning, everybody. I was reminded I need to do a, a one-year review. It's actually been 14 months, but I was reminded I need to do a review. <laughs> so thanks, Johnny, for uh, reminding me of that. Uh, so let's get started with it. Now, this uh, toolbox, I'm so glad I got that. I tell you what, I found out like a month later, though, it is not waterproof. I drove through some heavy rain for about a day or two, got to where I was going, opened up the box, and there was about three inches of standing water inside. Luckily, I had a drill and a drill bit, drilled three small holes in it, drained the water, so I got that, got that going now. So, But I'm also glad I got that because my side box it's got that carpet and foam underneath. Well, in my toolbox, a uh, claw hammer dug into my anti-gel, my power diesel anti-gel, and it leaked all in there. It stinks. I got it fairly cleaned out, but it stinks like a mother in there. Now, these air tabs. People have asked me, uh, do they actually help with uh, fuel mileage? I'm like, well, I couldn't really tell you because... Uh, I put them on before my first trip, so I have nothing to go off of. But I will say this for them. Uh, they do help with the stability in the wind. Yeah, well, either that or it's, I think it might be a combination. It's just a different truck. I don't have the side skirts for the extra wind drag. And uh, so, but yeah, I do notice they do they do definitely help with in high winds. So uh, that I am grateful. I, a little more stability keeps me uh, going a little bit but let me tell you one thing i hate about this truck i absolutely hate this truck for this right here take a look at this see that fuel cap it's up underneath the cab now when i got a short nozzle it works i can get it in there but when i get to a fuel stop it's got a long nozzle I got to get up underneath here with it, finagle it, twist it around, get it. It's a pain in the butt to get it in there. They should have did what Peterbilt and Volvo does. They should have put the cap back here on the back. There's plenty of room on the tanks on that side over there. This side, they could have you know, still put it here, but I still got this notch here where I could still get got the nozzle in. So Western Star two thumbs down on the design of that that is a pain in the butt to get to sometimes so yeah two thumbs down on that there western star uh let me show you something else here well one thing i do like on this is that the front bumper sits up really high so if i have to straddle something i don't have to worry about damaging my front bumper like you see on a lot of those uh, Cascadias you know they straddled something when you see the front end tore up down there and it damaged it so I am happy about it sitting up higher I can straddle stuff however I do have more wind drag because it's not as aerodynamic so my fuel mileage isn't as good but that's okay at least I know I'm not going to damage something if I have to straddle an alligator or a dead animal or something. But uh, if you remember, I posted a video on here where my truck was damaged. Now you see I got a new hood, new uh, headlight. You know what these headlight assemblies go for? That assembly, $1,800. Good God. Thank God the other company paid for it. They fixed it all up, but... If you remember, if you saw that last video, this was pushed all the way back up against the hood. I was pulling on it, pulling on it, and I couldn't pull it out. And I'm like, how am I gonna get that back out? I tried taking this off. It don't come off from the outside. Then I remembered, oh, wait a minute. I can do this. Lift the hood up. And unlike other trucks, I can go right up inside here. Hey, okay? look at that. There's my engine. Now let that hood here. Here, when I first got the truck, when another driver pulled off, he thought he broke the thing. <laughs> oh God, I broke it! Now he didn't break it the way it's made. And I'm glad that it's like this too, because uh, 
I lifted the hood a few weekends ago and this flap was flapping. It wasn't stuck down there. So I was able to get up underneath here and a friend of mine, Jeff, had some double stick tape and uh, we taped that back on there. Home pretty good, but it was a lot easier getting in here through the front of the hood. It's made it real nice. But anyway, I was able to take that uh, these four bolts out to get that rod off of there, unplug the heater wire for those uh, mirrors, took those off, pulled it out, and then I was able to twist it, out, twist it inside the bracket that way. I was able to fix it that way. But yeah, I thought this was kind of neat. I can get up underneath in the hood like that. Engine DB15, 500 horse. Let me, uh, hood lock. So I can unlock the hood so I can put the hood back down. Very nice engine. I'm happy with it. Gets, uh, I get the fuel change every 50,000 miles. When I got the owner's manual, it said every 75,000 miles. I'm thinking 75,000 miles. Well, I used to drive a truck when it used to be 15,000 miles. And my last truck, which was a 2010 Cascadia, uh, it went to 50,000 miles. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. It didn't have the DEF. It had the DPF filter, but it did not have the DEF. So, uh... I put over a million miles on that truck. I put a million sixty-eight thousand miles on that truck before the number three liner went. So I thought, oh, okay, I guess fifty thousand miles, okay. But I'm not pushing it to seventy-five thousand. <laughs> not like this manual says. To me, that's just pushing it too much. But uh, what do I know, right? I've got the block heater, engine heater. Haven't used it yet, and I got the shore power, which I haven't used that yet either. Def tank four batteries for the truck again thumbs down on the design of this western star total thumbs down up underneath this and it's even harder this this side because i got these air hoses that are help that block some of my trying to get the nozzle in there bad design western star bad bad design uh should have put it back here but they can do right uh, next thing, another bad design. See all these air, they're the new quick connect, air connectors, and they suck. So far, I put 78,000 miles on the truck, and that airline right there, that little green one going in, loosened up enough during a level one inspection he put me out of service uh, because I was losing too much air. All I had to do was pinch that hose, pull it out, clean off the end, and push it all the way back in. Then it quit leaking. Then you know, I was able to go. But still, I was put out of service because of those cheap, quick connect air connectors. And the same thing happened right there. I tried to slide my fifth wheel one day on a load, but the connector that usually goes right there to that bracket I went bad and I only had I don't know 95,000 miles on the truck then 95,000 miles on the truck so I had to go by a quarter inch union put that green quarter inch and that gray quarter inch hose together again I now I hear all truck manufacturers are going to them quick connect air connectors if that's true I'll let me know See right there, they're all over the place and they're inside the hood too. I could be wrong about all truck manufacturers going to them. Let me know in the comments if they do, if, if you're Peterbilt or Volvo or Kenworth has them. But I know the Freightliners, Western Stars, they're going to them. Again, bad design there. That sucks. Um, but like I said, I'm getting about, I'm, Got 120,000 miles on the truck now. I've gotten it up to seven miles to the gallon. 
not great not too bad either so let's take a look at the inside and tell you a little bit about the inside now don't mind the mess before i go up there i'm taking the day off it's morning it's cool there's no trucks around me idling so i figure you know what i'm gonna shoot this now since there's no noise from other trucks coming it's nice and cool outside i'm not sweating but that's so don't mind the mess i'm just i just got done doing my laundry i got to put my laundry away done cleaning my cpap machine so i'll get that to it but let me tell you something the table and chairs when i first got it loved it used it all the time every day i'd put it up well now after about a, a little over a year the novelty's worn off <laughs> i don't put it up all the time anymore now it's just when i'm gonna do administrative work like pull out my laptop edit videos pay my oregon monthly mileage tax my if to quarterly if to tax make my truck payment do what else i gotta do on the truck on the computer then i pull it out then while i'm at it i'll go ahead and make me some soup or something it's a lot easier uh, of course i still got all my toys uh well, I'm thinking, is there anything I'm forgetting? Let me know in the comments. You know, and while you're looking at this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you'll be helping me out. And it don't cost nothing. Don't do it, it's just click, click, boom. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> so do that for me. And let me know in the comments if I forgot anything on this truck that I should be doing a uh, update on and I'll get to it. All right. You guys have yourself a good one. We'll catch you on the flip flop.